The US elections endorsements are often make or break for candidates and in the Republican Party, no endorsement is more valuable than Donald Trump's. Over the past two years, the former president has endorsed hundreds of candidates in congressional races across America. And in return, they show their support for Trump with grassroots campaigning. But as Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen reports from Holyoke, Colorado, Trump's endorsements aren't always warmly received. Almost 200 people have gathered here on a Sunday afternoon in Holyoke, a small town by the Nebraska border in the northeast corner of Colorado. They want to hear from the local candidates vying to be the Republican on the ticket in this district's congressional race. It appears that for a while, at least, we have lost our purpose. Rural areas like this are as red as it gets in America. Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. Why do you say that? Because he will. Republican Congressman Ken Buck won this district with a margin of 24.6 percent of the vote last election. Whoever wins the Republican primary should be all but guaranteed a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. So the fight for these candidates is right here at the primary level. Um, we need to repeal at the federal level all renewable energy targets. We need to repeal at the That's federal why level Congresswoman Lauren Boebert is trying her luck here. But, uh, Despite being a national star of the Trump movement, she scraped through in her home district on the other side of the state on a razor-thin margin of just 546 votes last election. Some recent scandals have impacted her personal popularity, but she has one thing these other candidates don't, a personal endorsement from Donald J. Trump. I have the voting record to back it, and that is why yesterday, the greatest president of the United States of America, President Donald J. Trump, has fully and completely endorsed me in this race because he knows he needs me alongside of him in the fight when he returns to Washington, D.C. For voters here, at least, the endorsement hasn't swayed their vote. It, it's fine whoever he endorses. I, everybody makes mistakes, so I'll put it that, that far. <laughs> I like Donald Trump. I'm not sure if I agree with who he endorsed. Trading endorsements has been a major strategy of the Trump campaign and helped solidify his influence within the Republican Party. He's been endorsing people in lower level races and they in turn endorse him for president again. How important is Donald Trump's endorsement to you? How, how it pissed me off when I seen that this morning. Really? Yes. Why did that piss you off? Because <laughs> Richard Holtorf running. We don't need Lauren Bobert over here. She's a goddamn carpetbagger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's a little bit shady politics, but I guess that is what it is. Lauren Bobert still has every chance of winning. This redrawn district now has many more suburban voters who may warm to her more than the rural voters here. But this is also the kind of crowd that's normally more influenced by a Trump endorsement. I think it's good. I think it's important. So I'm glad that he did that. At least he knows we're out here. At the end of the two-hour debate, the audience takes a straw poll. And at least for today, it's not good news for Congresswoman Bobert. Right, let's go with our third. Our third runner-up is Lauren Bobert. I, I don't I don't put too much stock in straw polls, um, but you know it's it's great to be here. I mean, obviously you got a lot of friends and family and volunteers that show up to these things, and uh, you know I have my my small crew. It's it's um, we we show up. I have my boys here. I don't know. Are they old enough to vote in a straw poll? Anyway, um, what really matters is earning, earning the votes, of, uh, the trust of the voters uh, throughout the election and June 25th. By which time Donald Trump will have likely locked up the party's nomination for president. Annalise Nielsen, Sky News, Holyoke, Colorado.